Yes. Christmas part two. Hi. For that, with a bottle opener. Do you want to start from this end or that end? For Christmas part two. I do not mind as we Purple. have a different combination. So Heather hello Woods. viewers. <laughs> yeah. At the Woods Craft Beer Company Winter Special Ale. That is what it looks like. And uh, it's five percent. And I think it's gonna melt away my winter blues. Not my words, the words of Heatherwood Brewery. Which glass should we put it in? That one, please. Is this a stout? No. Looks like it. Oh gosh, that's built in quite a lot. It's dark and it's tanned head. It's in a glass that looks quite nice. It's the uh, beer. Thank you beer very cans. much. It's kind of like a. Patrick McGinnity is the head like brewer. An orange colour. Drink it straight out of the bottle. Apparently it's going to be uh, peppery bitterness. Sweet toffee malts balanced with peppery bitterness. Let's find out. It smells. Like malt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fizzy. Mm. First thing that hit me about that. It tastes like someone spiked my... Uh, Mineral water, like spring mineral water. It's like a beer, like a light beer. It's a bit like. Um, I like that though because most of the festive ones haven't been nice. Mm, it's not too bad actually. It's a nice little. I would say like relaxing sort of drink. It's nice, it's like it doesn't taste like a festive ale. So that at the moment, mm. that is the best of today's six. <laughs> but. <sighs> Actually, I'll put the. Uh, I might as well put the bottle in front so I can see what it is. Mm -hmm. Next, we've got from Scotland, uh, Burton Brewery. If you want to get to that brewery, they've got a QR code on there, which you probably can't focus on. This is a stout, Santa's stout, oatmeal and chocolate, four percent, brewed in Brofton. I reckon that's pronounced in Scotland. Goes on about Brown the QR code. Broughton. Bursting with vanilla, oatmeal, and chocolate. Broughton or Brofton? How I would say Brofton because Broughton is spelled like that. I'd have said Broughton. Well, but, we'll never you know. know northern. Southern, we'll never know. You know. Never. <laughs> Which glass do you want this in? This one, please. The cracking one. Kill okay, well, You like stuff, though. Oh, look at this. Right, stop pouring. Stop pouring. Stop pouring. It's definitely stout. Okay. Mm. <laughs> what does it smell like? <laughs> it smells like coffee, which is kind of the chocolateness. I know, that's no, what I thought when I heard There's no go, vanilla. Mm, it's coffee. Well, I went to smell it and then I thought, I'll drink it. But when I registered it as I was taking the gulp and I was like, but... <laughs> it's worth it. You know what the worst thing? Get... It smells really dark roast. Like, I like the smell of coffee, even though I don't like coffee. Mm. Nah, I do not like the smell of. It's like tar. <laughs> it's like dark roast. And it tastes like dark roast. If they sold that at Starbucks and said, we've got an alcoholic oh, ale that tastes like dark roast. That's not, I like that one. You like that? Mm -hmm. But I do Is like... that better or worse than what we call the light beer, the cause light of the Christmas ales? See, for me, beers in general i do feel quite sleepy i don't know if anyone else does but is that better than that one i think that one's better personally i'll go with you just because that's a lot these aren't meant to be like beers i guess while i'm waiting for you i'm just going to plug the fact that we've got dry january coming up in january and the first video that's going to come out on new year's day which we haven't filmed yet the blind taste test for guinness and guinness zero which you're going to oh, do yes but next oh your old initials you watch out for that one Oh my old, old initials. This name. is Saltaire. SB. White Christmas. Festive citrus and spice ale. 4.8%. This should be good. It's got um, 4.8 on the old Richter scale of volume of alcohol. Refreshingly, lightly hopped pale with orange peel. I think this might taste like the light one we just had. This one, please. I'm already enjoying this more than the last five we reviewed. <laughs> they were really bad, most of those. That's really light as well. That is white. Oh, Do you want to show stop, them? Stop. <laughs> that looks stop. like a lager. A lager stop. beer. 
Hi, everybody. <sighs> Check that colour out. Isn't that beautiful? I'll tell you what, though. Sn smell that. Smell that, beer. Mm -hmm. Give it a sniff if we only had smell a vision. It reminds me of a less strong version of that Hoppy oh. Christmas by Brewdog. You know, when it just smells like I sick and lager. I think it's sweet. I, that To me, that smells like it. So. Smells like what? Hoppy Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> yeah, let's just do great. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes better though, I think. Slightly better. It's got like that backbone of a bit of fizz. There's something there. That's better than Hoppy Christmas. I mean, these all are so far. Wait a minute, because I'm just sipping one after the other. I'm going to have my water. I think this one's mainly for export again because it's got so much uh, foreign writing on here. But the brewery is in West Yorkshire, so I look forward to. Uh, I think I can still taste that. the other drink because I still have the chocolatey taste from the other one. So. Nah. Not like that. Nope. That going to the bottom of the pile, is it? Well, you like it, so. No, it's all right, but it's not as good as the other two we've got here. So. Yeah, I, I, no. Give me the glasses to so remember which is which. Personally, I, I yeah. I think it's I think it's a way to a girl's heart, the one with the chocolate in it. So, uh, it doesn't taste like chocolate yeah, though. Anyway. Next we got the Rocking Rudolph. Rocking Rudolph. A full bodied multi and fruity Christmas ale, which they all seem to be, with a refreshingly bitter finish. It's four point two percent. Apparently it's quality ale. And uh, it's got a really low budget looking cartoon there. I've got a feeling I've tried this on cask many years ago. And on the tap bit where they got the logo, they had yeah. actually flashing Christmas lights. Do you know, I, I do think I've heard of it before. Oh, it's going to pour out. That is golden. A lot of head on that. Let's give it a couple more minutes to read the back of it, see what there is. Again, I think this one is for really export only. 2.1 units, 4.2% alcohol. So I mean with all the logos on. Mm. A lot of these get made for export only. But then some people buy a load cheap to keep in the country and then they obviously, they look a bit different because they're ones that aren't usually sold here because um, I don't think the English usually like them, but. It's a bit behind there. Yeah, I've read that out. What does that say, sorry, again? I read that at the start. A full bodied multi and fruity Christmas hour with a refreshing bit of finish. I'm thinking I can smell like fruit cake, <laughs> but I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> right, the color of it, guys. Smell like fruit cake, I guess. Kind of difficult to see, but it's like an orangey sort of. Rocking Rudolph. See what you think of that. Like must do. <laughs> it's a bad omen. It's in the stormtrooper glass. Mm. That's all right. It's standard. Tastes a bit dark. Tastes a little bit like the oatmeal one. A bit of a roast there. I'd still think that would be in front of that. But also. Well, anything would be in front of that. It's not great. I think it'd be in front of that as well. But what well, do you, if you think? want? No, not because, whatever I want. No, because the reason I like that <laughs> is because it doesn't taste like a generic Christmas ale. It's a lot that is just cause light in a in I, I, a wrapper. Yeah, yes. I agree with so you. So I on don't that mind one. putting that there. I agree with you on that one, but yeah. I would say these are all drinkable. Like even though I don't like that one as much, I would say I could drink that. Whereas the bottom two at least from the other video couldn't even that brood of one was awful. Oh, the next one is the Cheeky Elf. Cheeky Elf. That looks like an upside down Morrison's logo there. It's called Bottoms Up. It's 4.1%. It's not got much fruit on the back. Oh. Chief Medical Officer recommends I don't have that many units. Amber Ruby Ale, 4.1%. There it is. It looks like something you get in like Marks and Spencer or something. It's minimalist. And let's put it in the left, left A, left. I think it's Lefe, Lefe, Lefe. which is from my box set review I did a few weeks ago. It was. Oh yeah, like a bowl. That's a gin glass, really. Yeah, it probably is. Sorry. Oh. What's the, that's dark again. That's like Lefe uh, Brune. I think it's Lefe anyway. But... Mm. Did Not much head on that. No, but it's because probably it's a, a wider glass as well. It tastes like as, it tastes like between that and that, the flavour. Mm. There's not much smell to it, I don't think. Really. Mm. Sterile. It's like roast to it, but not as much as that one. 
I'm getting different mixtures again. Bear with me one moment because I'm getting a different mixture of stuff. It's dark, it's too dark for me to enjoy, I think. But you can have it at Christmas. Doesn't taste like Christmas ale, there's nothing Christmassy about that. Wickwa Brewery. Probably won't be drinking any of those again. It's not great, but it's not bad. <laughs> I don't like that one. See, I'd say, what, well, there then? I'd say it's better than that, probably. Um, there. Um, yes. <laughs> There we go. Scotland's winning the race at the moment. Let's give you a drink of water. Bear with, bear with. Bear with claws. <laughs> oh. Are we in for a treat with this last one? Rosy Nosy. It's not cider, even though it's got Rosy in the name. Bursting with rich, fruity, sultana and raisin flavours. This could be like the plum one we had in the other video, I think, but hopefully not. It's Bateman's, 4.7%. This one doesn't look like it's for export only, but we'll see. Let's see what we will see. Are oh, you in for a treat with that glass? Bura Moretti glass. It's like a Sheena glass, but it's a pint. It's a whole pint. Wowzers! Very classy. Raisin Sultana, which I like, but you don't like oh, mince pies. Is it going to taste like mince pie then? Maybe. Maybe. Special Christmas beer. Doesn't smell much again. It smells like lager almost. It's kind of halfway. There's kind of like a rubiness to it, but uh, try and get a bit of the natural light in as well at the moment from this side, just so it'd help a little bit more. We've seen the drinks. It's got a big head on it, so I'll just give it a chance to. It's fizzy. Do its thing. It's very fizzy. Like taste. I can't fizzy. tell what it smells like. There's not much smell to it. No. It's fizzy. Hmm. It's interesting. Fizzy. It's all right. It doesn't taste like four point seven. Hmm. Lincolnshire. I'd say that's in par with the one at the end as well. What that one or that one? Yeah, no, the, the very end. Which is. Just I don't know. I think that's better they're than all, cheeky. Elf. Don't get me wrong. They're all just as good drinks, but I think I'm more of a, a stout than they'll drink a can of girl. <laughs> I would say. That that was actually better than Cheeky Elf, but I'll put it there for you. Mm. This is what you, order you put them in, which I vaguely um, agree with. But what I would say is... Yeah, Elf I would have put all the way down. You fair. said it was better than that one. Mm, no. Ah, oh, so you've changed your mind now. I, I did say that. Cheeky Elf was... I said I'd say more at the bottom, but... You know, that would be my order. From this side all the way across so every, obviously there. everyone's each to their own we're just showing you the just to of these one six, day you get an idea of, of these six i'd probably say that was my favorite just because it tasted like cause light so yeah no, no no don't change it we put them in the order you like i'm just telling them what my favorites are <laughs> this is what order you liked but i'd say that's my favorite that'd be the top and uh if i was going to drink these as christmas hours i'd probably say that one and uh, those three would be in the those two would be swapped round basically, which we don't need to do for the video, but I'll probably agree with what you've put there, but I'd swap those two round like that and that would still be second. Yeah, just because we both like different tastes of things anyway, but it's understandable. But just let us know what you think. If you ever buy one of these beers, just let us know in the comments and see how what you think about it as well. So I hope you enjoy all your festivities. Um obviously drink responsibly. <laughs> Cheers. Did you want to say the little line? I think Mike wants to say the line. What do you reckon? I'll see you in the review because we are gone. <laughs>